He's been trying to reorder the world as if he is the creator. But that's perhaps because he thinks he is. Soros himself admits that uh, from the time he was very young, he had uh, megalomaniacal ideas. He said he had messianic fantasies. He said he even thought of himself as a kind of god. In the alchemy of finance, quote, I fancied myself as some kind of god. Soros goes further in that he has said that he wants to be the conscience of the world. He was quoted by his biographer, uh, Kaufman. Yes, I did say that, and actually, I stand by it. I think the world very much needs a conscience. I want my foundation network to be the conscious of the world. He was born in Budapest, Hungary on August 12, 1930, as George Schwartz, the son of Orthodox Jews. Today, Soros is an atheist who doesn't embrace his Jewish identity and rarely supports Jewish causes or Israel. That, of course, is something, again, very, very uh, much a part of my psyche, uh, anti-Semitism uh, and, and uh, you know, hatred of Jews. I think there are enough Jews who, 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 to, to take care of Israel. It was actually probably the happiest year of my life, that year of German occupation. For me, it was a very positive experience. It's a, a strange thing, you know, because you see incredible suffering around you. It's a very uh, happy-making, exhilarating experience. George attended the Fabian Socialist London School of Economics. He moved to New York in 1956, became a U.S. citizen in 61, and at the age of 39, he started what would become the Quantum Fund, which he would use to attack currencies all across the globe. He later would be blamed for the financial collapses in Thailand, Malaysia, Indonesia, Japan, and Russia. And who could forget that he was the man who broke the Bank of England in 1992? That I made on this particular transaction, the estimate is about a billion dollars. I precipitated the the uh, the event which occurred, I think, the next day or the, or within two days. So, in in a way, it works as in the uh, the the, Marx, the the uh, the Marxist way. Karl Marx's proposition, uh, from everybody according to their ability and to everybody according to their needs, was a very attractive idea. Soros also collapses regimes with his Open Society Fund. Open Society is a desirable form of social organization, both as a means to an end and as an end in itself. If, if what your vision that you set out was enacted, would we, be, would we have as one final result a more equal distribution of wealth? It would lead to a uh, a, uh, uh, a more equal distribution of wealth. When you uh, try to, let's say, improve society, you affect different people and uh, different interests differently, and they, they are not actually commensurate. So you, you very often have all kinds of unintended uh, adverse consequences. So I had to experiment, and it was it was a learning process. The first part was this uh, subversive activity, disrupting a rep a repressive regimes. Uh, that was a lot of fun. So what is his target now? Us. America. He said it himself on many occasions. He said what I have done in other countries in terms of overturning uh, bad governments, I'm going to do in this country. In one of his books, Soros writes, quote, the main obstacle to a stable and just world order is the United States. George Soros is really the Dr. Evil of the whole world of left-wing foundation. I set up a foundation to promote open society throughout the world. I established a, 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 an American branch for the open society. There is a deep-seated conflict between capitalism and open society. Open society is endangered by, by our current leadership in, in, in this country. And that is when I refocus my attention on the United States. How has America got to be different? I felt that I have got to get involved in America. And that's, at the time, I felt 
that if we could uh, uh, terminate President Bush's hold on the White House. So I think you need a, a new world order that China has to be part. The question is whether we need and whether Mr. Soros and his foundations can help to bring more foreign influence into the United States instead of relying on what is essentially a balance between Democrats and conservative Republicans. I think you put your finger on a very important uh, 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 flaw in the current world order. And, and that is that only Americans have a vote in Congress. And yet it is the United States that basically determines the policy for the world. That is a, 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 a flaw in the, in the current setup. Political analysts say the shadow party he has built here greatly resembles those he created in other countries before instigating a coup. He created his own party within a party, or his shadow party outside of the Democratic Party, or the Center for American Progress. That was one of the original shadow party groups. This group, from the beginning, was charged with getting control of the conservative media. We are now moving to the second issue of the, of the Shadow Convention, the persistence of poverty in the middle of our prosperity. And it gives me great pleasure to welcome one of our conveners, the Reverend Jim Wallace, the head of the Carter Renewal, a new coalition of churches to fight poverty, and the editor of Sojourners. Our country needs us. And we need people like George Soros, who is fearless, and willing to step up when it counts. These are the open society. These are, these are just the things that he has uh, donated to. I just want to show you because we don't have a lot of time. Um, so I just wanted to show you the list. These are the list of the organizations that are involved, you know, in these, in these five steps. And we wrote it out for you. But I just wanted to show you that, it, you know, it's no big deal. It's not like you're overpowered or anything like this. Um, there's more. There's, this is less than half of them. But, uh, but other than that, there's, there's nothing to see here. Just move on with your lives. Nothing to see here, folks. In the things that I am engaged in, I'm actually willing to put my life at, at, at risk. And I think it's, it makes me feel uh, much more uh, uh, complete. The system we have now has actually broken down, only we haven't uh, quite recognized it. And so you need to create a new one. And this is the time uh, to do it. And welcome to socialism. You wouldn't want a man like this anywhere near the President of the United States, would you? Soros has been granted at least four visits so far to the Obama White House. This, a man who has repeatedly called for the devaluation of the dollar. A slow uh, um, decline in the value of the dollar, a, a managed uh, decline. He's waged a war against capitalism. Capitalism is not directly opposed to open society. Nevertheless, it poses some serious threats. This is a man who wants the world to be one global society without borders or individual governments. One global society and one global gatekeeper.